Childish Dad's Easter. Man, I am so excited for tomorrow, because tomorrow's Easter. Yes, Dave, we know. I'm so excited to see what the Easter Bunny is going to bring me this year. Come on, Dave, do you seriously still think the Easter Bunny is real? Of course, I do. I've thought he's real my entire life. No offense, Dave, but you're almost 36 years old. How did your parents not tell you years ago that the Easter Bunny isn't real? Oh, Catherine, the Easter Bunny is real. People have been telling me for years that he isn't real, but I know they're just jeshing. I mean, who else leaves out all those eggs in baskets full of candy every year? Me. Dave, the Easter Bunny isn't real. I feel like it's time you knew that. You should have learned that by the time you became a teenager. I mean, Brian and Emma know the Easter Bunny isn't real, so how do you not? I've been the one leaving out all the eggs and gifts. Yeah, Dad. Sorry to bring your hopes down, but the Easter Bunny isn't real. You should have learned that years ago. I don't care what you guys say. Nothing will stop me from believing in the Easter Bunny. I believe in him just like I believe in Santa Claus. Man, I knew Dad was childish, but I didn't think he was this childish to the point he still believes in the Easter Bunny and Santa Claus. Hey Melissa, your mother and siblings think that the Easter Bunny is fake. Do you agree with them? Absolutely not. The Easter Bunny is totally real. I mean, how else do all those gifts get left everywhere? Exactly. Your mom and siblings don't know what they're talking about. The Easter Bunny is absolutely real, and we need to prove it to them. But how are we going to prove it to them? I'm not sure. I'll have to think about it. Alright, Catherine wants me to buy a turkey for us to eat on Easter tomorrow. There should be one on this aisle. Let's see if I can find one. Hey Dave. Caitlin, is that you? Yes. Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, I just came here to buy a turkey since my wife wanted me to get one for us to eat tomorrow on Easter. Oh, that's nice. I am also excited for Easter this year. So am I, but my family claims that the Easter bunny isn't real and that he's just a myth, but I know for a fact that's false. Oh, well that's too bad. I wish there was something we could do about it. Yeah, I wish I could find a way to prove that the Easter Bunny is real, but I don't know how. Hey, I think I might know a way you could prove the Easter Bunny is real. Maybe you could try and set up a trap for him. Hey, that's a great idea. That way I'll have proof that he's real, and I can show it to my wife and kids. Thank you so much for the advice, Caitlin. No problem. Alright, my Easter Bunny trap is complete. Now if he comes back here, he'll see this carrot, and when he tries to get it, the trap door will open and it will fall in. Oh yes, this is going to be great. Now Catherine, Brian, and Emma will finally believe the Easter Bunny is real. Hey Dave, what's this project you're working on? Oh, I'm just building a trap for the Easter Bunny. For crying out loud. Dave, how many times do I have to tell you? The Easter Bunny is not real. Seriously, how do you not know this by now? But he's real, Catherine. You may not believe it, but I'm going to prove it to you. He will be trapped in this hole tonight. You know what? I don't even care anymore. If you still want to act like our little kid and believe the Easter Bunny is real, then that's fine with me. But just saying, your parents should have told you this years ago. Just you wait, Catherine. Tomorrow, I'll get the Easter Bunny trapped in this hole, and then you'll have to believe he's real. Oh yeah baby, this Easter is going to be awesome. Oh boy, dad is happy, and he has a scheming expression. We all know what that means, he's up to something mischievous. What are you up to dad? What are you up to? Oh, I just got done building a trap for the Easter Bunny. Now I can prove you and your mother wrong. But dad, it's true. The Easter Bunny is not real. How come no one told you about this when you were younger? Oh just leave him alone Emma. If your dad wants to believe in the Easter Bunny, he can. 
there's nothing wrong with it. See Emma, Steve gets it. I am going to catch her the Easter Bunny, and when I do, I'm gonna rub it in your face. Can you believe that guy is my father? Well, I'm not surprised. You should see the way my mom acts. <laughs> Right, now that all the eggs are hidden, it's time to get some sleep. You coming to bed, Dave? I'll come to bed when I'm ready, Catherine. Right now I'm watching an Easter movie. She must be cold. She gave Dave, are you blind? This is a Christmas movie, not an Easter movie. Whatever. I like this movie. Alright, just come to bed whenever you want. I will. Kiff, why are we out playing at the park at 10 p.m.? It's late, and we should be heading home. Easter is tomorrow, and we need to be well rested for it. Oh Barry, night time is the best time to play at the park. No one is here to kick you out or tell you what to do, which means we could climb up the slides and climb on top of the equipment. Well is it okay if we go home now? I'm tired. You can go home if you want, but I'm gonna stay here. Thanks. Wait a second, I think I just saw something in the backyard of that house over there. I kind of want to go take a look at it. Oh my gosh! Is that a carrot? Well, don't mind if I do. Hey, what do you think you're doing? And just who are you supposed to be? My name is Crash, and I see you're trying to grab that carrot right there. I want it. Let me have it instead. Look dude, I was here first. This carrot is mine. No, it's mine. Give it to me. Let me have it. No, I want it. Oh no. We're stuck. That carrot was a trap. Don't worry, we'll be able to get out of here. We're rabbits, so we can jump really high. Not high enough to get out of here. Nonsense. Oh no, I can't jump out. We really are trapped. That's what I've been trying to tell you. How are we going to get out of here now? I don't know. We're going to have to wait and see if anyone will find us. Oh, if only my best friend Chico was here. He's smart, he'd be able to get us out of here with ease. Gosh, Eng, don't you just hate that Riggy and Rosie are sending us to bed early? 10 o'clock is way too early for a bedtime. Not only that, but they don't want us training to become Wufu warriors. Also, I still have beef with Riggy. Yeah, and I still have beef with Rosie. Man, I wish we could live with Master Yo again, but we were ordered by law to not live with him anymore. Oh, you have beef with me, don't you? Yay, I still think you're secretly stealing my looks just so you can be famous and cool. Admit it, it's all a facade. It's not a facade. These are my genuine looks, and I am far more famous than you'll ever be. I'm famous all over YouTube. And when was the last time you've heard anyone talk about Yin Yang Yo? You wanna know something? I'm Riggy's girlfriend, and you're Yang's sister. That's one thing you and I differ from, and it also proves just how pathetic you are. You don't even have a boyfriend. Yeah well, I have telekinesis, and I could use it to send you flying out the window if I wanted to, you me wanna be. You know something Yang, I was hoping we could get along with each other since you and your sister are living with us now, but since you're still accusing me of being a lookalike, I guess not. That's it, I am so out of here. Wait for me, Yang. Hey, you two get back here right now. Alright, I think we got away from them. Although I can't help but think, 
This backyard looks familiar. Yeah, this looks like childish dad's backyard. Hey Yin, look, it's a carrot. Yang, don't touch that carrot. Oh, and why shouldn't I? Because, I want it. Yay well, you're not getting it before me. You're not getting that carrot before us. First of all, how do you keep finding us? Second of all, nah. -uh. Give it to us. No, it's ours. How did we get down here? You idiot, that carrot was a trap. We're now trapped in a hole. Not only that, but it's those two who stole my looks. I ain't finished with you. Oh boy, not this again. Hey Simmons, what you got there? Oh, just a double Big Mac from McDonald's. Ah, uh, Simmons, haven't you already eaten like 10 of those this week? Those things aren't good for you, and you're probably gonna get sick. Don't worry mate, I'll be fine, just let me eat my burger. Ouch, my heart. I think I'm having a heart attack. Oh no. Don't worry Simmons, I'll get you to the hospital as soon as possible. So mate, am I gonna be alright? I'm sorry Simmons, but you're unfortunately not gonna make it. You're gonna die. Well mate, before I die, I have just one request. What's that? Tell my wife I was cheating on her. No, Simmons. Don't die. Please don't die on me. Why? <laughs> Sir, you never gonna believe what just happened. Simmons had a heart attack after eating a double Big Mac from McDonald's for the 10th time this week, and he died. Oh, that's terrible. Simmons was always my best police officer, right next to you guy. Who's going to be my partner now? I don't think anyone could replace Simmons. Well I'm glad you asked. I actually have the perfect replacement right here. Officer Guy, meet your new partner, Judy Hobbs. Really sir? My new partner is Rabbit. Oh come on Guy, she's great. She's a professional police officer and one of the best in the biz. She'd be the perfect replacement for Simmons. Alright, if you say so. So, what's our first mission for tonight? Well, we got a call about six rabbits being stuck in a hole with a carrot trap in somebody's backyard. We should probably go take care of that. Shit, something's wrong with the car. Better check it out. Well would you look at that. The tires are popped. What are we going to do now? Maybe we can get new tires. Well yeah, I know that, but where are we going to get them from? Maybe we could ask the people who live at that house over there. Oh yeah, great idea. Um, hello officer, what brings you here? Am I under arrest? No, you aren't under arrest. I just came here to see if you had any spare car tires, since the tires to my car are flat. Oh, I might have some. Let me just check the garage. Man, what's taking Brooklyn guy so long? He's been in there for like, 10 minutes already. It's getting kinda boring around here. Ah! What was that? It sounded like it came from over here. That's strange. I could have sworn I heard someone scream from back here. It was probably nothing. Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, is that a carrot? Let me have it. Alright, now that the tires are fixed, time to finish the mission. Okay Judy, let's go. Oh no! Judy is gone. This is terrible. I can't lose two partners in one day. Volt, what are you doing? All that noise is keeping me awake. Oh, I'm just jumping on Susie's bed. And since she's dead, she can't do anything about it. Look Volt, just because Susie's dead doesn't mean you should jump on her bed. It doesn't just irritate her you know. Okay, fine.
Hey Anna, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reading this news article about six rabbits being trapped in someone's backyard, and how a police officer disappeared while searching for them. Oh, that's terrible. I hope someone can find them. Oh, I'll tell you who's going to find them, we are. Get Lucy, let's get into ranger form, and we'll save them. So, I assume this is the place where the rabbits were captured. I hope so. We've been searching for it all night. Stay focused guys, we need to find the rabbits, and the missing police officer. Oh look, a carrot tied to a rope. Isn't that convenient? I feel like this might be the place. Did someone say carrot? Gimme. Anna, no. Yay, I finally finished putting Easter eggs and baskets in this front yard. I love Easter so much, it's my favorite time of year. Now I'll do the backyard. Hey kid, I see you're hiding Easter eggs and Easter baskets all over this house. You really want to be the Easter bunny, don't ya? Well not exactly. I'm just trying to be nice. Yay well, you want to know what would be even nicer? If you took that carrot tied to that rope over there. Oh boy, yummy carrot. Gosh, I sure do know how to prank people. Breaking news and cake. There is an Easter bunny trap in someone's backyard that has captured 10 rabbits, and none of them are the Easter bunny. Not only that, but police officer Judy Hops has gone missing, and we assume she is one of them. We currently have a bunch of police officers searching for the missing rabbits, and the missing police officer. As soon as we find this Easter bunny trap, the person who made it will be sent to jail for a very long time. Oh no guys! A bunch of rabbits went missing! Yay, and so did a police officer. I wish there was something we could do about it. There's nothing we can do Wubsy, we're just kids. I think we should try and save them. Oh wow Junior, that's a great idea! No it's not. Something bad might happen to us. No there won't Cody, we'll be careful. But we might end up getting trapped as well. But Cody, just think about all the fame and attention we might get. Ah Cody, wouldn't being rich be awesome? I've always wanted to be rich. Well yay, I suppose being rich would be nice, but we might end up like the rabbits who got trapped. Oh come on Cody, you don't know what you're talking about. If we be extra careful, nothing bad will happen to us. Yeah Cody, nothing bad's gonna happen to us as long as we be careful. So come on guys, let's go save those rabbits. Oh man, now that Junior and his friends are gone. I can finally watch the Easter special of Charlie and Friends on the TV in this room since the one in my room isn't working. Let's turn it on. So guys, are you ready to go save some rabbits? Heck yeah dude. I still think this is a bad idea. Why Cody? Because we're gonna get trapped. No we're not Cody, we'll be just fine as long as we be careful. Guys, being careful is not going to be enough to keep us from getting trapped. Yes it will Cody. Don't you know what being careful is? Anyway guys, let's get going. Hold on a second guys, there's someone I'd like to call real quick. Are you calling WebZ? I'm calling Widget. Widget? Yeah. Why would you call Widget? Because, she's smart, she'd been able to help us. But isn't Widget a rabbit? What if she ends up like the rabbits who got captured? Oh Cody, I think you worry too much. Come on guys, let's go. Alright guys, here we are. Now let's solve this mystery. Solve this mystery? What are we, the Scooby-Doo gang? Wait Jeffy, how do you even know if this is the right place? Because, the trap is right there. Oh, you're right, it is here. So how are we going to free the rabbits? I might be able to do something about it. After all, I am a rabbit. I don't think that's a good idea. You might end up like the other rabbits. Come on Cody, you can trust her. 
She's a genius. So am I, and I don't think it's a good idea for Widget to save the rabbits. Oh, come on, Cardi. It'll be fine. You can test Widget. Fine, whatever. All right, guys. Let me take a look at this trap. See anything, Widget? Yes, I see a carrot. A carrot? Oh no, that can't be good. What's the matter, dude? Guys, I think the reason all those rabbits got trapped here is because that carrot is meant to activate the trap and open the trap door, which is where all the rabbits end up in. Man, this carrot sure does look good. I think I'll take it. No widget, don't. Just widget just fell in. Let's get out of here. Boy, I love just sitting here on the couch doing nothing while Max is asleep. Because Lord knows I'm his parent Max is if I'm his mom and have him go to bed early, because that's what every sister does. Max, what are you doing? Nothing. But you're supposed to be in bed. Look Ruby, I don't have to listen to you. You're not the boss of me. You're my sister, so stop treating me like you're my parent. Um, Max, why are you speaking in full sentences? You weren't able to do that in our TV show. Because, this isn't our TV show. This is beyond video, everything is different. Yeah well still, you should be in bed. Why are you up? Because, I'm going to run away. Hey, Max, get back here right now. Where, uh, where are we? Max, what are you looking at? Ruby, look, a carrot. Yeah, and? I think we should take it. Um, that's not a very good idea, Max. Oh, come on, Ruby. You don't know what you're talking about. I think it's a trap. Come on, Max, let's go home. Nope. So Buster, did you hear about the rabbit trap in someone's backyard? Yay, I still can't believe all those rabbits got trapped. I think we should do something about it. But what are we going to do about it? We should try to save them. Um, Arthur, I don't think that's a very good idea. What if something bad happens to us? Oh come on Buster, maybe if we be careful, we'll be fine. I still don't think it's a very good idea. Well I'm gonna go do it. Wait for me Arthur. All right, Buster, here we are. So how exactly are we going to do this? Well, I assume the rabbits are in that trap door right there. So I'm thinking we can open the door and let them out. I mean, the hole can't be that deep. Okay, I suppose that could work. All right, let's look inside. Hey look, another rabbit and an aardvark have found us. I hope they can get us out of here. All right, Buster. There they are. How should we get them out? I'm not sure. Oh no. Buster. Don't worry, I'll get help. Great, just great. Now I'm stuck in a hole with a bunch of rabbits. I know I'm also a rabbit, but this still sucks. I don't know how this could get any worse. What's up, Duck? Yup, this is just perfect. Don't worry, it'll be alright. That Artvark said he was going to get help. Yay, but we have no idea how long it's going to take him. It'll take him all night for all we know. Where am I? Who are you? I'm the Easter Bunny. Oh my god, you're really the Easter Bunny. Yup, that would be me. Yes, I knew you were real. Suck at Catherine and kids. Anyways, where are we? I'm glad you asked. We are in my home, Easter Land. I have brought you here because there is something I would like to tell you. Ooh, what's that? I want you to wake up. Oh, it was all a dream. Well at least it's finally morning. Now I can go check the Easter Bunny trap.
Alright mom, we're ready for the Easter egg hunt. Alright, but first, we need to wait for your father. He should be down any minute. Where are you going Dave? To check the Easter bunny trap. Oh boy, I forgot dad built an Easter bunny trap. I can't believe he still thinks the Easter bunny is real even though he's not. Wait, what did you just say? Oh nothing. Alright, let's open this up and see if the Easter Bunny is in there. Oh wow, I had no idea there was more than one Easter Bunny. No, you idiot, we are all different rabbits. So which one of you is the Easter Bunny? None of us. We're just normal rabbits. Oh jeez, this is not going to end well. You're damn right it isn't. Get them! Dear Lord, I need to get out of here. Hey, you get back here right now. Let's chase after him. Please stop chasing me. Never. You shall pay for your wrongdoings. You're gonna have to come out sometime loser. We'll wait for you, as long as it takes, and then, you're dead. Oh man, I can't believe a bunch of rabbits are trying to kill me. I didn't even mean to capture them, I only wanted to capture the Easter Bunny. Dave, why Bugs Bunny, Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus, Judy Hopps etc. standing outside our door your langry? Catherine, I just made the biggest mistake of my life. Remember that Easter Bunny trap I set up last night? Well, it didn't capture the Easter Bunny, but it captured a bunch of other rabbits and now they want revenge on me. See Dave, this is why you shouldn't have set up that trap. What are we going to do now? I don't know, but I'm scared for my life. Bugs Bunny is going to kick my ass. Don't worry Dave, I'll go and talk to them and maybe we can settle this. Hey, what's going on out here? Some man who lives here has trapped all of us in a hole with no way of getting out. And now we want revenge. Look, I can assure you, Dave did not mean to capture you all. It was all a misunderstanding. He meant to trap the Easter Bunny. We still ain't forgiving him. Thanks to him, we were stuck in a hole all night with no food and no fun. We could have died thanks to him. Look, please just get away from my house and pretend all of this never happened. I could get a restraining order against you if I wanted to. You better let us in right now. Nope, not happening. Fine, you asked for it. I guess we'll just have to let ourselves in. Ah! Oh no. The rabbits got in, and are chasing Catherine. So, how many Easter eggs did everyone get? I got 15. I got 13. I got 12. I got 14. I got 10. I also got 10. Alright, good job everyone. This was fun. Wait, I have a question. What's with that trap with the carrot tied to the tree over there? Oh, that's just a trap our dad set up for the Easter Bunny. Oh, okay. Did he trap the Easter Bunny? I doubt it. The Easter Bunny is way too powerful for our dad to get him. He went to go check the trap earlier, but we didn't hear anything from him after that. Well, I hope everything's going alright with your dad. I'm sure he's okay. What was that? I don't know, but it sounded like it came from inside. We better go inside and take a look. You two are so not going to get away with this. Hold on a second, how come I'm being blamed for this? I had nothing to do with you guys being captured. Because you wouldn't let us in the house. Anyways, in order to pay, you guys must. Oh yeah, that's right. We never really thought about what we should do to have them pay. Oh yeah, I guess you're right. So what should we do with them then? You know, why do we even need to make them pay with violence? Violence is not a solution to all our problems. Why not just settle our differences and forgive them? Shut up, no one asked for your opinion. I think we should torture them. Let's tie them up, and rip all their eyes. We could also set their bodies over a fire and watch them endure the pain and suffering of all the heat. Jeez. But, yeah. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. Let's do it. Hey. 
Leave our parents alone. And what'll happen if we don't? Look, whatever our parents did to upset you, they didn't mean to. I promise they're nice people. Your dad trapped us in a hole, and we had no way of getting out. We couldn't possibly let him get away like that. Our dad didn't mean to capture you guys. He meant to capture the Easter Bunny. He had no idea you guys would fall in. We don't care. He must pay. All right, officer. Here it is. So you're telling me that the missing rabbits and my partner are stuck in the trap? Yes. Me and my friend Buster came here earlier, and we looked inside, and there they were. He actually fell in too. Of course, he did. Let's look inside. Are you trying to pull a fast one on me, kid? There's nobody in there. But I swear, there were rabbits in there earlier. I don't know what happened to them. What was that noise? It sounded like it came from in the house. Let's go take a look. Guys, please don't torture me. I promise you I did not mean to trap you. Why can't you just forgive me for all this? Yeah guys, I think we're all taking this a little too far. I mean, this was all a misunderstanding. He didn't mean to capture us. Let's just leave him alone. For the last time, no one asked for your opinion. We must make him pay because we could have been stuck forever thanks to him. We also could have died. Anyway, it's time for you to be tortured. Hey, what's going on here? Brooklyn guy, is that you? Oh my god. Judy, I finally found you. Wait, you two know each other? Yeah, she became my partner yesterday after my old partner Simmons died. Arthur, what are you doing working for the cops? I'm not working for them. I asked them if they could help me free you guys. But since you guys were no longer in the hole, we decided to come in here since we heard screaming. Oh, okay. What are you doing anyway? Oh, I'm just teaming up with these other rabbits who fell into the trap to torture the man who trapped us. Excuse me, did I just hear you flag out of me that you were trying to torture someone? Um, no. Are you sure? Because I heard you say that you were teaming up with a bunch of rabbits to torture someone. Alright, yes, we were trying to torture him. But can you really blame us? We were stuck in there all night and we had no way of getting out. We thought we'd be trapped down there forever. Well clearly you were able to get out. So there's no need to torture this man. And he also had no idea you guys weren't there, as he meant to trap the Easter Bunny instead of you. Therefore, I'm going to have to ask every single one of you to get off the premises. Let this man enjoy his Easter with his family. Look officer, I tried telling them that this was a bad idea, but they wouldn't listen. But still, I want all of you to exit this house immediately, or else all of you'll be sent to jail. This even goes for you Ms. Hobbs. I'm so sorry about this sir, I assure you this will never happen again. It's alright, thank you for getting those rabbits out of my house. No problem. Anyways, you have a good Easter. Alright everyone, the rabbits are gone. How did you do it Dave? I didn't have to do anything. The cops, and Arthur Reed for some reason, came in and told them to leave or else they'd go to jail. And they left, just like that. Hooray, now we can enjoy our Easter without anything ruining it. Hey, Steve wants us to come over to his house for Easter. How does that sound to you guys? That would be great. Alright then, let's head on over. Wow Steve, we've never been to your house before, and I got to say, it's pretty nice here. Yeah, I know. It's pretty nice here. The only thing you should watch out for is my mom. She's very weird. My gosh Gabrielle, you're seriously smoking again? Yes Adam, you know I love smoking and drinking beer. I do it every Easter to celebrate. But you smoke and drink every single day. You really need to stop. Smoking and drinking is not good for you. How about you just mind your own business? I can do whatever I want, and you can't do anything about it. My mom is an addict, which irritates both me and my dad. My dad is a normal person though. Who are you? My name is Dave, and I am the father of your son's friend. Your son invited us here for Easter. Well it's nice to meet you Dave. Yeah, my son is friends with your daughter. Anyway, we'll probably be eating soon. 
so be sure to be at the dinner table by then. Man Arthur, I really feel bad about what I did. So do I. So do I. So do I. So do I. Me too. Me too. Me three. But I am at least glad we made it out of that trap alive. Me too. Say, do you guys want to spend Easter with me and my family? Boy would we. Wait, now that I think about it, weren't there more rabbits than just us? What are they up to right now? Alright everyone, here we are back at Childish Dad's house. Now it's time to put this plan into action, hold on a second. Jax, what's with that mask you're wearing? That's not a ski mask, that's a gas mask. Why aren't you wearing the ski mask I gave you? Oh, I thought the ski mask was boring, so I decided to use a gas mask instead, because I thought it looked cool. Whatever. And Bugs, is that a football helmet? Why the heck are you wearing a football helmet? Because I like football, but it doesn't even cover a majority of your face. Oh whatever, at least you two are the only ones who aren't wearing ski masks. So what exactly are we going to be doing again? I'm glad you asked. So, the childish man and his family are out right now. So, we are going to break into their house, and we will be hiding upstairs in his room, and once he opens the door to his room, we will jump scare him and kill him. And before you ask if we'll get caught, I've done stuff like this before, so I know we won't get caught. Yay, I love jump scaring people. Alright then, let's get this party started. Alright everyone, here we are in Childish Dad's bedroom. Now we just wait for him to get back, then we jump scare him and torture him. Hold on a second. Ricky, how do you know for sure this is the room we're looking for? Because, I've robbed this place before. I've robbed so many places in Yarm City before. I am a wanted criminal. Okay, but just one more thing. Do we really need to torture this guy? I feel like we're making this seem like a much bigger deal than it actually is. All he did was just trap us, and it wasn't even on purpose. Oh shut up Dan, you sound just like that other rabbit from earlier. Yeah, we're doing this rather if you like it or not. That man must be for his wrongdoings. Hey guys, I have an even better idea. How about instead of torturing the man, we prank him? I'm really good at those. What prank do you have in mind exactly? Well, I was thinking we should activate his door to make it so when he turns the knob, a blowtorch comes down and melts his face off. Wow, that is extremely evil. But who am I to speak? After all, I am a criminal. Anyways, we're still going to do what I want, because I am the leader, and everyone must listen to the leader. Man, that sure was fun. I love Steve's house. I did too, I just wish you weren't flirting with Steve's mom in a drunken state. Come on Catherine, you know I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was drunk. I promise I would never cheat on you. I let it slide because you were drunk, but I don't want to catch you cheating on me again, or else. Do you understand? Yes, anyway, I'm going upstairs to my room. Huh, we finally got you right where we want you. And now we're gonna torture you. <laughs> <laughs> Believe you beat me up it hurt so bad you guys are so mean why we don't care you're going to endure this whole torture man i can't believe i'm actually torturing someone i am so going to share this on instagram oh no this is terrible what's wrong officer hops take a look at this post i found on instagram oh my gosh those pesky rabbits are back at it again I'm glad I gave up trying to torture that man. I prefer being on this side much more. I totally agree. Come on carrots, let's go stop them. Can you please not call me that? You sound like someone I know. Breaking news McKay. 
Six of the rabbits who were trapped in that man's backyard are back. They are wearing ski masks and are trying to torture the man who captured them. These six rabbits are Bugs Bunny, Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus, Yin and Yang from Yin Yang Yo, and one of the FBI's most wanted criminals, Riggy the Rabbit Monkey, along with his girlfriend Rosie. Police officers Brooklyn T. Guy and Judy Hopps are currently searching for these rabbits so they can be brought to justice. Oh good lord, that's horrible. Hey Kiff, I just got back from an Easter party I was invited to. Sorry I didn't ask you to come. Barry, did you hear the news? A bunch of rabbits were trapped in someone's backyard, and now six of them are back to torture the person who did it. Oh yeah, I remember that. I was actually one of them. Why would you do that Barry? I thought you were nicer than that. No, I meant I was one of the rabbits who were captured. I would never torture anyone. Oh, that's a relief. Say, should we do something to stop those other rabbits? What can we do about it? We're just kids. I know exactly what to do. Alright, are you ready to do this Barry? You look ridiculous Kiff. What do you mean? No one's going to bite that you're a rabbit. All you did was put on fake rabbit ears, and they don't even match the color of your fur. And plus, your real ears are still visible. You know Barry, I think you worry too much. This plan is going to be a success. Fine, just take me through the plan again. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go in there disguised as rabbits. Well, I am, but you don't have to because you're already one. And then, we're gonna try and trick the other ones into thinking we're helping them, and I'll distract them and you'll call the police. Okay, but I think I should be the one to distract them, and you call the police. If you stay with them long enough, they might realize you're not actually a rabbit. But then again, they'll probably realize it right away. Sure. That's fine. Hey Barry, good to see you decided to join back with us. Who's your friend? Oh, this is just my friend, Kimberly. Kimberly Barry? Look, it was the best I could come up with. I couldn't use your real name, and I saw it has your real name on the font that I saw. Anyway, don't worry, we'll help you torture this man, but hold on one second. I have to use the bathroom. Okay. Here we are at the same house we were at earlier. This is where the rabbits should be. Let's look at them. Come on, please pick up. Look Officer Hops, it's one of the rabbits. Get it. Wait, hold up, I'm not a rabbit. I'm a squirrel. Oh hey? Well then, how come you have rabbit ears? These are fake, see? Oh, sorry about that kid. However though, I do know where the rabbits are, if you'd like me to show you. Yes, please show us. What should we do to him next? Let's let him on fire. Guys, I have an idea. How about we let Barry decide what we do next? That's a great idea. Barry, what should we do next? You guys won't be able to do anything else now that we caught you. You seven are under arrest. Why seven? There's only six of them. I'm referring to the one not wearing black clothes and has light blue fur. Oh, you don't have to worry about him. That's my best friend Barry, he's nice. Alright, that's fine, but the others must be brought to jail. Everyone, get in the police car right now. Oh my gosh, Kiff, Barry, you guys saved me. Yup. We'd do anything to save anyone. Oh, thank you guys so much. This is one of the nicest things anyone has ever done for me. You know what? I no longer hate you guys. I like you now. Yay, childish that likes us now. I never thought this day would ever come. Dave, what's wrong? Oh, I'm just still upset about the fact that the Easter Bunny isn't real. It's alright Dave, it doesn't matter if the Easter Bunny is real. All that matters is if you had a good Easter. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Come inside whenever you want. Oh well, I guess the Easter Bunny really isn't real. Hello there sir. Oh my gosh, you're not who I think you are, are you? Yes, I am the Easter Bunny. Wait, seriously? 
You're really the Easter Bunny. Yes, and I am here to tell you, Dave Johnson, that I am very proud of you, not only for being one of the very few adults who actually believe in me, but also for the way you dealt with all those rabbits who tried to kill you. You were very brave. Oh my gosh, the Easter Bunny is actually real. I have to tell Catherine, Brian, Emma, and Melissa. Goodbye everyone, I hope you all have a great Easter. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and tap the bell for post notifications.